Hi everyone. Our today's topic is input multiple values using split function in Python. So in the last video we discuss how to receive input value by using input method. But in this video we are going to discuss how to take multiple input values by using single input statement. For that we are going to implement split function. Before starts today's session, let us try to recall what have we discussed in our last video. What is a static initialization? What is the use of dynamic initialization? What is the return type of input function? How to store integer values using input function? How to convert other number system values to decimal? while working with the input function. In the last video, I have given exercises to you. Let us see the solution for those exercises. Exercise 1. Write a python program to convert a given octal number to a decimal number. So meaning of this exercise is you need to receive an octal number dynamically. For that, we must write input function. Let us see the solution for this exercise. So the complete logic we covered in the last video. But here the modification what you need to do regarding to this requirement is here you need to specify it because we are giving the input in the form of octal number system and the base of the octal number system is it. That is the information we are giving here. Execute it. Now see the output screen, enter a number in the octal. Now I am entering any octal number. So already we covered the number systems in the bitwise operators concept. If you don't have any idea about the number system, check that video we have in the playlist. So here I am entering a octal number. This is the octal number 1, 2. Press enter. Now see octal value 1, 2 in decimal is 10. So the value 1, 2 in the octal number system, the equivalent value of this value in decimal system is 10. Now second exercise I have given in the last video is same concept but here you need to receive the value in the form of hexadecimal and you should convert it into decimal form. This is the solution for that. Only change is in the second parameter you need to write 16 because base of the hexadecimal is 16. Now see the output, enter a number in hexadecimal number. So I am entering a number like a2, then press enter. Now see the output, hexadecimal value a2 in decimal is 162. Still if you have any doubts regarding this, you can mention it in the comment box. After watching today's video, you will get the idea about these topics. Can we use split function with strings? Why do we use split function with input? What is the default parameter of split function? Can we use comma operator as a parameter of split function? Let us try to understand what is split function or split method. Developer often wants a user to enter multiple values or multiple inputs in a one line. So in the last video we covered how to receive one value by using the input method dynamically. If you want to receive two values, we have written two input statements in the last video. But here what I want to do is, I want to take multiple values but I don't want to write multiple input statements. With a single input statement, I want to receive multiple values. For that we use split function. My prompt message is like enter a comma b and c values because I want to receive three values at a time. If you observe in C or C++ we use scanf in C language, c in, in C++ to receive multiple inputs by using single statement. In the same way we can use input statement with help of the split function to take multiple values. When we use this split function, it gets multiple inputs. 
it breaks the given input by the white space by default so while we are giving the input values where we give space the split function split those values space as a separator generally the split function is used to split the string values but we can also use the split method to receive the multiple values with input statement for the better understanding of split concept see this example now i want to receive two values dynamically for that we have written two input statements one input statement to receive number 1 another input statement to receive number 2 and i want to print those values i am writing a f string and i can print those values if you run this program you can find the screen like this enter first number i am entering 10 and enter second number 20 press enter number 1 value is 10 number 2 value is 20 now here the point you need to understand is how many variables we are receiving dynamically that many input statements we have written here but now what we want to implement is i want to receive multiple input values by using single input statement for that we use split function but as i said already split function is generally used to split the given string so see this example i am storing one string value to the variable text welcome to python course so this split function split the text variable value based on the space where you have given the spaces the split function treat that space as a separator see the output you will get the clarity now see this is the output of this program welcome to python course so based on these spaces the split function split the given string this is how to use split generally with strings concept but we can use that split function to receive multiple values also now see i want to receive at run time by using split function observe this input enter two numbers along with the input we must use the split method like dot split method or split function at the run time we will enter two values first value will be stored in the variable number 1 second value will be stored in the variable number 2 then simply i want to print those values now see the output enter two numbers so here i am entering 25 space i am giving space after 25 then 35 press enter now see number 1 value is 25 number 2 value is 35 so here with the help of the single input statement we can receive the multiple values with help of the split function clear now see one more example in this case i want to access three input values at a time and in this case my separator is comma in the previous example the separator is space right now here my separator is comma if you want to write any separator you can write like this split function within the single quote or double quotes you can write your separator execute it enter three numbers observe carefully i am entering the three numbers by separating with comma 10 comma 20 comma 30 press enter now see number 1 value is 10 number 2 value is 20 number 3 value is 30 i think it's clear now exercise for you write a python program to find area of a rectangle for given length and breadth so you need to find area of the rectangle with help of your program for that you need to receive length and breadth dynamically that is first point and second point is use f strings to print the result by following these two rules you must develop your code for this exercise if you are facing any problems while doing this exercise mention it in the comment box if you done this you must mention that also in the comment box then other people can do it check your knowledge what you learned from this video can we use split function with strings why do we use split function with input 
what is the default parameter of split function can we use comma operator as a parameter of split function if this video is useful to you please subscribe the channel watch the videos like and share it thank you